Hey there everyone, hope you are doing well. In this video, we are talking about the Go High Level Form Builder. So Go High Level has made some awesome updates to the Form Builder and the Survey Builder on the Level Update 2025. And in the last video on my channel, we have covered Survey Builder. So if you haven't watched that already, it's in my channel. Go ahead and watch that. But in this video, we are talking about the Form Builder only. Now, what is the Form Builder? This is where you create forms for your website or your landing page. So if you have a, a landing page in Go High Level, you definitely need a form or a survey to capture lead information. So forms allow you to do that. And if you have a lot of questions, you have to use a survey because surveys break down questions into multiple steps. So each step will have one or more than one question and you can break all the questions down into multiple steps like that. But if you have few questions, you can use the form builder. And forms can be used on your website's homepage, contact page, service page, on your landing page, and they can also be used independently. So if you don't want to embed the forms on a page, you can use them independently. So without further ado, let's get started and let's access the form builder on Go High Level. So as you can see, I am on a sub account. We are not on the agency level and we are on a sub account right now. We will go to sites and we will go to forms builder. Here we have a few forms already but we want to create a new one from scratch. You can also go with pre-built templates if you like, but we won't do that because we want to see how it works first. So we will say start from scratch and hit create. Now we will call this lead capture form. So this is how naming works. So just put your form name here and hit save. As soon as you hit start from scratch, they also gave you a few questions. First name, last name, phone number, email. So you can just drag and drop them around. Like if you want to bring email up top, you can do this like this. And there's a few check boxes like terms and conditions boxes. You can get rid of those. You can also get rid of the hyperlinks down below. And if you want to take a simpler version of the terms and conditions, you can get it from here on the left side. The left side is the elements bit. So you can create any elements you like in the form from the left side. So if I want to take a TNC, I'll I'll just do it like this it's much cleaner and once we hit save it will update the form first name last name email phone number is the basic information what if i want to ask any other information so there's a few default fields you can access from here like date of birth that's pretty much it for the default fields but if you want to take any custom questions like what's your height or something like that what services do you need something like that if we want to ask them any such questions we have to go here down and now there's a few options for you. So if you want to create a single line field, so this is a single line field where they type something, you take this one. If you want to take a multi-line field like this here. Now, if you want to name this, I'll say, please describe your project and we will hit save. So every time we make change, we'll hit save. Let me just get rid of my image from the screen so you can have a better view. We took this field, which is a multi-line field, and we have changed the label in it. And if you want to make it required, so this field obviously needs to be filled out for them to submit the form because it's required now. If you take it off, they can still submit all the information and submit the forms. So I'll say this is required. Please describe your project. Hey everyone, just wanted to take a quick moment to share my school community where if you join, you get to ask me questions about issues you're facing on Go High Level Ads Automation AI. You can also be a part of the weekly coaching sessions where I conduct training on many different topics and we do a Q&A session after that. Besides, you get free access to a lot of my courses that I'm not uploading on YouTube anymore. Some of them you can already see on the screen. Also, there are members only discounts. So if you join, you get 50% off on my courses, my snapshots, my funnels, everything. That's pretty much what I want to share. See you on the other side. We can add other information like uh, if we want to add a single line option, we'll say this. We can add a radio option and say, how would you like to pay? And if you want to set up the options, I'll say PayPal, Ash, credit card, select other. So they can select any of the options when submitting the form. That's a radio option. So either one from these four. Now, if you want to add a checkbox, so this is a different one where they can select multiple options in this options. So I'll say, what features would you like? I'm just going random, guys. It totally depends on your use case, your business, and the services you want to set up this form for. But I'm just showing you the different options we have in the form builder. So I'll say painting, remodeling. If they want to select painting and remodeling, they can just select them at the same time. 
these are the features of a multi-select so it's, it's called checkbox if you want to put single line drop down you can do that as well so instead of showing it like this it will just show a drop down where they can click on and then select an option they have multi drop down as well so same thing you are able to select multiple options from the drop down if you do this these are the field features you have you can create custom fields as well they're pretty similar because when you select these options like describe a project how would you like to pay what feature would you like these are already creating custom fields in this sub account these questions that we just created let's just go back for a second i'll show you where they created i'll go to settings and i'll go to custom fields now if you go to folders you can see there's a new category in the custom fields called form lead capture form so if we go back and then say form lead capture form these questions that we just created as soon as we hit save on the form they were created as custom fields so let's just go back now to our form now once you're done updating your fields like the information that you want to grab from your leads or your prospects all you need to do is just style it now so we will hit the right setting option now what we will do is we will go through the styles so the layout type will be single line or multi-line if you want like this if you want it to look more compact you can just go with two column input line box or line so i'll just say line it is and if you want to make it a bit wider you can do this field spacing so the gap between these fields we have if we do 20 you can see they're a bit more space now label width if you want to do label width you can do that i, I won't do it label alignment if you want to keep it on the left up or right i'll just keep it on top like this so the label shows up above the field the padding can be a bit smaller so i'll just say padding is 30 so i don't want a big space above this and then also if i want to eliminate the space on the left and the right i can do this like this now hit save one more thing if you would like to include in this form is a headline so if we go down here there's a text option i'll just take this text and say lead capture form or let's just say get in touch so we will just make it a bit center change the fonts to let's say poppins 600 oh that's too much and you can change the font size as well to let's say 30 so if you click on it it will open up the window again so you can configure that from here so they say padding shadow margin and all that stuff like the fonts of fonts and stuff you can edit everything from here so let's go back to the forms settings so we can just click on this and go to colors and background so if you want to set a background color to the form itself you can do it from here primary color input text color input background color you can configure all that stuff from here so input background color means do you want to change the colors here like these input fields you can totally do that like this but i won't do this that's it so now input border if you want to change the border color as well if you want to set a background image to the form you can do this like from here if you want to enable agency branding it will have the go high level agencies branding like my agency is called lead bus buster so that's why it's showing up like this if you want to select a pre-built theme you can take it from here but that's when you want to use this form independently not embed it anywhere so if you wanted to use independently without embedding it on a landing page or a website you can go with any of these themes now let's go to advanced if you say corner radius is two the edges of the form will be sharper and if you want to get rid of the shadow you see it's flat now but if you want to elevate it a bit you can totally do this input field so this is the fields here now if we want to make them a bit wider you can see the input fields we are giving them a bit base the corner radius can be a bit less so we'll do it like this and the left padding will be 15 so it looks much cleaner now and if we go to label we want to change the labels to the fonts to poppins and say make them a bit bigger short label is the one that shows up underneath the input fields we don't want to use them but if you want to use them you can from here now input fields are open sans and let's make them a bit bigger fonts will be 400 and if you want to put any custom css to it you can do it here now what about the button if you click on the button you'll say submit that's the button text and you can make them center aligned like this font will be pop-ins on size let's say 20 and then say now we'll say alignment is center okay button background you can set it to something like red text font color is white that's fine if you want to change the text in the button the color of that you can change it from here border corner radius will be two so the edges are a bit sharper and the padding can be 12 by 12 so the form looks much better now so we'll hit save now if you want to use this form independently what you can do is click on preview it will give you the independent link so you can share this link with anyone and if they submit it a contact will be created in go high level so if i just submitted this data let's say math shadow 
or let's just say I need meaning service cash it is painting and remodeling as well and then I'll hit this so if I submit this form it will create a contact so if we go to the contacts area and a contact was automatically created you don't have to do any workflows or you know any type of automation for that here you can see if we go to the lead capture form bit you can see the information that I submitted on the form so I need cleaning service these two I selected I selected cashier so the information is captured on this contact area here and you can see if you want to send this contact an SMS or email or WhatsApp you can do it from here now let's go back to the form now if you want to use it on your landing page or website let's just talk about the landing page so I want to use this form on a landing page so I'll go back go to funnels and go to any of these funnels let's just say this one let's say I want to use it here so I'll just open it up and when it opens we can just place the form that we created anywhere so let's just get rid of this now let's say I want to place this form under this countdown timer so I'll just say let's just take a new row here so I'll just add a new column row and add we will type form place it and it will ask you what form do you want to place so i'll say lead capture form there we go the lead capture form has been placed so we'll hit save and if you have a subdomain connected to it you can hit publish as well if you want to use it on an external website let's say you have a wordpress website and you want to place this form on that website so first we need to go to the form and we need to hit integrate and hit copy embed code and you can go through these settings and then copy the embed code and that gives you a bit of customization options but after copying this code you will go to your website so let's just do a demo with my own website okay i'm on my website i just created a test page here so i want to place this form on this page so i'll just say html widget so no matter what website builder you're using you should be able to get an html or a code block like this and we'll just say margin Actually, let's just place the margin on this here and we don't want it here. Now we will just place the code here and this will populate the form on my page. Now, if we hit publish, we will be able to access the form on this page. So this is how you embed the form on an external website like WordPress, Wix or Squarespace or anything like that. Now let's go back to the form. So there's some other options as well. Like if you want to be notified when someone submits the form, you can just click on this and say email notification. And that will allow you to get a notification via email every time someone submits this form. For SMS, you need to set up a workflow, but let's just say you want to get an email notification, you can set it up from here. If you want to enable autoresponder, so this form is submitted by someone and that person needs to receive a confirmation that we have received your inquiry. You can set it up here. Say like, thank you for your inquiry. And you can just do it like this. And that's basically the autoresponder. There are some other stuff like conditional logic. If you want to redirect them to a specific URL, let's say they submitted the form by selecting cash. So they selected cash when they're submitting the form. What you can do is click on conditional logic. If how would you like to pay is equal to cash, then you want to send them to a different URL. You can do it like this. That's not just for this option. You can select it for other options as well. So this is basically how the condition logic works. If you want to disqualify them, let's say if they select cash or if they select other, you want to say, sorry, we don't deal with other payment methods. So you can do it like this as well. These are all the custom conditional logic based on what they do what they select on the form, you can set them up based on, you know, their selections. So this is how the form builder works. Obviously go through the settings, the styles, and obviously the themes, if you want to use them independently. And there's loads of options over here as well. If you want to go with any custom questions and, you know, make your form more dynamic and more elegant, you can do it from here. So that's how the form builder works, guys. Hopefully it was useful, especially for those who are getting started with Go High Level. This video is more for those people. And let me know in the comments if you have any questions on the survey builder or the form builder or anything and go high level in general and i will see you in the next one